So let me tell you something about myself. I love study. I have taken way too much school, mainly because I just couldn't stop studying. And let me tell you about how I study poker and how I recommend that total new beginners study poker. First, you really have to think about your learning style, right? Uh, I was trained as a teacher and we learned, you know, there's the different learning styles. There are visual learners and auditory learners, tactile kinesthetic learners. So you really have to figure out what kind of content you want to learn from. So when I study poker, I focus on my strengths and I'm an auditory learner. So I like to learn from podcasts. I'm really bad at learning from videos, so I have to try extra hard by, you know, rewinding and pausing and writing things down. For me, writing things down is key, so, you know, if you're a poker study person, get like this, a notebook. So I have my poker study notebook. It's uh, color-coded and everything. What I do is I write down some notes, and then after 24 hours, I go back over the notes and... I do a little corrections and stuff for clarity. After a week, I go over them again. I underline important points. And then after a month, I go over them again and I highlight things. So <laughs> obviously notes help me. This is Poker Notebook Volume 4. I also have Poker Notebook Volume 3, Poker Notebook Volume 2, this time now with tabs. <laughs> Got those little tabs from the dollar store. Those help for coming over to sections that you want to reread. And, of course, Poker Notebook Volume 1 from when I first got started. So, yeah, I highly recommend taking notes. It's good stuff. And as far as study, uh, there's lots of great resources out there uh, for new people. That If you don't know about these resources, I'll tell you about a few of them. Run at Once Training is for people who love videos. That's the website that people love the most for video content. For podcasts, there's like a ton of those. Uh, in fact, if you're thinking about study itself, uh, Sky Matsuhashi is, makes content in podcast form that's all about how to study poker. If you are a tactile kinesthetic learner, yeah, absolutely. You can practice with a deck of cards at home and quiz yourself with tools like Range Trainer Pro. Uh, and of course, practice is important, but study and practice should be done together. When you're new, they recommend a split that's something like 70-30, and then moving more towards like 50-50 as you go. So here's what he might be doing some raising with. Let's step through the hand and see how it might work out. So when the flop comes down, 3-8-9, and Wilson bets out. He was the one who three bet. So what would he be betting out here with, right? Yeah, I mean, maybe he's got the nuts here. Maybe he's got eights or nines, right? Would he bet out with these other things, though? I mean, probably. It's kind of hard to say, though, because it is a low flop. So maybe he wouldn't. Maybe he wouldn't be betting with things like sixes or sevens. So six, seven, eight, nine would be a draw. This would have a pair. This would be pretty cool. Uh, this would also be cool. Um, what about eight, nine, ten? Maybe. I mean, over here we've got a lot of things we might only be betting with um, with the spade draw. So let's take out some of these things and then select which things would only maybe continuing with the spade draw. Uh, so 10 jack would definitely be continuing. Um, let's say some of these things though, like, uh, well, we've got a draw here. What about maybe this would be just into spade draw territory now? Right, 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 right. Oops. Oopsies. Oopsies, we do, we do the mistakes. Okay, so then we hit suit selection again, and we hit spades, and then we've got only the spades. So maybe that's what's going on on the turn? Okay, so, or on the flop. Maybe that's what's going on on the flop. 
And then here we go on the turn. A king comes. Cool. He checks this time. And then I bet out and he calls. So now he's check calling, which is, you know, what? It's unlikely that he would be doing that with these kind of things. He would want to be getting value. He's probably going to be checking back with something a little less then. Like, hmm, uh, maybe still the draws? I don't know. I'm making it a little bad for his draws here. But it's still possible he'll call along with the ace high draw. Um, king, queen, jack. Okay, he'll call with queens. Call with any of these guys. I think he would probably raise some of these things, right? Raise those guys. Mm, yeah, we'll keep seven six six seven eight nine and ten nine ten eight jack eight. Let's get rid of. Mm, now we've got some kings involved. So now, 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 now we'll get these things. I think he's still going to be calling along with those. So here's what it looks like on the turn. Narrowed down a little bit. He's still got a lot of value here, though. And then what checks the river, huh? I mean, we have the answer down here, so you know that he did have the ten switches on here. But it's like, that is one thing that would check the river. We probably would have... I mean, he'd have to bluff with some of these things. He could check the, down the river with these guys. But he wouldn't check with the kings. So let's take out our kings. He wouldn't check with 8-7, right? He wouldn't check with 8-9. Um, what about 9? Let's see. We These are some things that he might check into this with. 8-9. These all have some minor value. He'd probably have to bluff with something like this, though. Queen-10, he'd have to bluff. So this is the kind of stuff that he might just check the river with. And sure enough, the 10s that he had are in our guests. There's going to be links in the description, and they are going to be towards more study info, such as how to go through the hand history again in a little more detail, and also some things to study, like pre-flop and a beginning of post-flop study, which is the concept of c-betting. Uh, at some point, you are going to have to start reviewing your own hands, so get started on that as soon as you can if you're somebody who wants to learn how to study poker. And remember to review your notes every day that you can and review hand histories every day that you can before you start playing so that you get some practice in without spending the moolah.